Hi, everyone. Good morning and welcome to story time. Move this up a little. All right. Um, let's see. I'm going to start with my hellos. Hi, Cody. Hi, Dax and Dean. Hi, Eleanor and Emily. Nice to see everyone this morning. I hope you're having a good morning. Um, we, today, we're going to need a scarf for our song later. So get a scarf or a hand towel or a dish rag or something that we can we can move around, okay? All right, let's start with our clap your hands song. Here we go. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands and stomp our feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet. Stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet. Wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello. Wave hello, wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello. Excellent. Let's do our stretches. Stretch to the window, stretch, stretch. Stretch to the doors. Stretch up to the ceiling and down to the floor. All right. So our stories today take place in the ocean. I was going to read a different story. This was a very last minute change. The story I was going to read you was missing a page. Ugh, that happens with library books sometimes. So we're going to try this one. Over in the ocean in the coral reef. What do we see in the ocean? That looks like an octopus, doesn't it? There's, a, there's some tentacles. Over in the ocean, far away from the sun, lived a mother octopus and her octopus one. Squirt, said the mother, I squirt, said the one. So they squirted in the reef, far away from the sun. Over in the ocean where the sea grasses grew, lived a mother parrotfish and her parrotfishes too. Grind, said the mother, we grind, said the two, so they ground on the coral where the sea grasses grew. There are some parrotfish. Ooh, what kind of fish are these? We know these fish from Finding Nemo, don't we? Over in the ocean, in a sea anemone, lived an old mother clownfish and her little clownfish three. Dart, said the mother, we dart, said the three, so they darted all around in a sea anemone. Anemone is kind of fun to say. Try it out. Over in the ocean on a sandy sea floor lived an old mother stingray and her little stingrays four. Stir, said the mother, we stir, said the four, so they stirred with their fins on the sandy sea floor. Look at those stingrays. <laughs> I guess I don't know my ocean animals very well. Over in the ocean where the scuba, scuba divers dive lived an old mother puffer and her puffer fish five. Puff, said the mother, we puff, said the five, so they puff in and out where the scuba divers dive. There are the puffer fish. We can count those. They're easy to see. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five puffer fish. Over in the ocean doing somersault tricks lived an old mother dolphin and her little dolphin six. Jump, said the mother, we jump, said the six, so they jumped and they played doing somersault tricks. Can you jump around like a dolphin? Go on, give it a try. <laughs> Good job. And there are all the dolphins. One, two, three, four, five, six. Over in the ocean in their sea fan heaven lived a mother angelfish and her little angel seven. Gray said the mother, we gray said the seven, so they lazed and they grazed in their sea fan heaven. Those are angelfish. Over in the ocean, very streamlined and straight, lived a mother needlefish and her needlefish eight. Skitter said the mother, we skitter said the eight, so they skittered through the water, very streamlined and straight. Those fish are very thin, aren't they? and long. Over in the ocean, drifting in a yellow line, lived an old mother gruntfish and her little grunts nine. 
grunt, said the mother. We grunt, said the nine. So they grunted and they kissed, drifting in a yellow line. Aw, they're kissing. How sweet. Ooh, what are those? Seahorses, aren't they? Seahorses are always pretty cool. Over in the ocean in their turtle grass den lived an old father seahorse and his seahorses ten. Flutter, said the father, we flutter, said the ten. So they fluttered all around in their turtle grass den. There they are. Over in the ocean where the sea creatures play while their parents were all resting, they up and swam away. Find us, said the children, from ten to one. When you find all the creatures, then this rhyme is done. And look at all those creatures. What do you see there? Do you see some seahorses and some angelfish? And, oh, there's the stingrays. We see lots of things there, don't you? Hey, okay, good job, friends. Excellent. All right. Let's see. Let's get a, let's do our five little fish song first. Here we go. Count along with me, please. One, two, three, four, five. Five, and you can get out your five fish. Five little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. <laughs> Snap! Oh no! Run, little fish, swim! Oh, hopefully that fish got away. How many fish do we have left? One, two, three, four. Can you get out your four fish? Four little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me! Along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. Snap! Oh no! Swim away, little fish. Okay, how many fish do we have left? One, two, three. Three little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me! Along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. Step! Oh no! Swim away, fish! How many fish do we have left? One, two, two fish. Let's see if these fish have learned their lesson. Maybe they'll just swim away and not bother the shark. Two little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me! Along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. Snap! fish left. The fish is upside down too. It's already given up. One little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. Snap. Oh no, swim away, little fish. Now there's no more fish. You did a good job counting down. Oh, that silly shark just scaring all those fish and trying to pick them all off now. Good job, everyone. Let's get out our scarf, shall we? There we go. The fish in the sea go swish, 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 swish. The fish in the sea go swish, swish, swish all day long. Now we'll do the dolphins and they'll go in a circle. The dolphins in the sea go round and round. Round and round, round and round, the dolphin in the sea go round and round all day long. Now we'll do the octopus. Does the octopus wiggle? Of course. The octopus in the sea goes wiggle, 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 wiggle. The octopus in the sea goes wiggle, wiggle, wiggle all day long. 
the sand in the sea drifts down, 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 the sand in the sea drifts down, 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 all day long. The waves in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the sea go up and down all day long. Give yourself a big shake. You did a good job with that one. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Now we have another story. This is a nice big one. It's called, I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. I'm a giant squid and I'm big. There's the giant squid. And he is big. Look at that. I'm bigger than these. What are those? Any ideas? That's kind of tricky. These shrimp. Those are shrimp. I'm bigger than these. Clams, right. He is bigger than the clams, isn't he? I'm bigger than this crab. I'm bigger than that. What do you think that is? It's a jellyfish. I'm bigger than these. What are those? I like those. They're turtles. I'm even bigger than this. What is that? It's not a squid. It has eight arms. It's an octopus. Very good. I'm bigger than that shark. I'm bigger than this fish, that fish, this fish, and that fish, all of those fish. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. Or is he? Oh no! Oh no! The whale swallowed him. So where is he now with all these other fish? He's in the whale's tummy. And he's looking around and I think he has an idea. I'm the biggest thing in this whale. And he is. The end. Excellent, everyone. All right. So today we are going to do an art project with things that I know, well, that you probably have at home. I am, I am a, I have found that I don't have much left in my house either to do arts and crafts, but I do have paper towels. So you need two paper towels for this. You need some paint or you need, well, you need watercolor paint or you can use markers too. Markers work just as well. And you need scissors and I use tape because um, using glue on paper towels was kind of hard. So what we're going to make today is a giant squid out of paper towels. So the first thing you have to do on um, both of your paper towels, you need to use your watercolor paints. So you either paint or you can use markers all over your paper towels. If you're using markers, 
first you draw all over your paper towel with markers and then you can add a little water and all of the colors will start to spread. If you're just using watercolors, you have the same effect without having to, um, to do two separate steps. You're just going to paint all over and it'll spread around. After you've painted both of your paper towels, then you're going to let them dry. Now, it might take, it took my paper towels a long time to dry for some reason last night, but usually paper towels dry pretty fast. After they've dried, you're going to cut one of your paper towels into a triangle shape. This is going to be the head of your giant squid. So that'll be your giant squid's head. And you want to save the scraps for that so you can cut out some eyes. We can do that right now. You just, well, I just put both of my scraps one on top of the other so I can cut out two eyes at the same time. And you just cut out a circle. And then you can use your markers or your paint to draw eyeballs. And with your other, your other paper towel, you are going to cut legs. So to make the legs, you just cut strips. But you don't cut them all the way. You stop about a, an inch or so from the top. So you are just going to cut a bunch of strips all the way up until you get to the end. And then you're going to get out your tape and you're going to tape the head to the tentacles. And you're going to tape the eyes on and you can draw a little mouth like I did so he's cute. And then you can hang it up in your window or maybe some more breezy so that it can, it can move a little bit when it catches the breeze. Or you can tape it or glue it onto a piece of construction paper if you want, want something a little more sturdy. All right. Thank you for joining us at story time today. I'll see everyone uh, again tomorrow at 9.30. Uh, have a good rest of the day. Thanks for coming today. It was good to see everyone. Let's do our bubble song. It's time for me to go. Bye, friends. Bye, Go make a squid. You know that you're the one I'll miss. So blow when you great big kiss. Blow again.